Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and today I'm back for another screenshot video because it's the second part in our series about how as an artist you can make money um, by selling your art other than by selling the actual original art itself. So the first article in our series was how to sell printable downloads of your paintings on Etsy. So I showed you how to take an appropriate paint um, image of your pour uh, enhance it digitally and list it for sale in your Etsy shop. Now, if you do that, somebody can buy your image, uh, print it at home or take it to a printer locally. And that's great. But let's go to the next step. What if you wanted to mail um, a beautifully framed print of your art to your seller, uh, to your buyer rather, and you don't have a printer or they are overseas a bit like myself, I'm in the Cayman Islands, so to get a print of my art sent to someone overseas, you know, I'd have to invest in a good printer, I'd have to package it and send it to them. However, you don't have to do any of that because there's a company online that will take care of all of it for you and you don't even touch the whole process. So I'm going to show you how to do that today, how to set up um, an image that you can sell in your Etsy store and have a company online print that image, frame it and send it directly to your buyer so that the only thing you do is collect the profit. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do if you haven't already is set yourself up with an Etsy store and if you go to this article on the acrylic pouring website and scroll all the way down to the very bottom just here there's a special offer. I have a special custom code from Etsy that gives you your first 40 items listed in your Etsy store for free. So if you haven't set up your store yet Find this article and I'm obviously going to put all of the um, links that you need underneath the video and click this button here, go and set up your Etsy store and that gives you 40 free listings. So that's step number one. And then if you haven't already done so, I suggest going back to this article, which tells you all about how to make those digital images of your paintings, because you will need to supply a really good digital image to the company that's going to make your print. So go back and have a look at that one if you're uh, anyway unsure what kind of image that you need to provide. Your next step is to set up an account at Printful. So go to this URL, Printful dot com slash a slash acrylic pouring. Let's go there now. And you will arrive at this screen and you can scroll down and you can see an example of some of the products that Printful can make for you, but they can make a whole bunch more than this too. But you can put your art on any of these kind of products. As you scroll down, there's a little video that you can watch that tells you how Printful works and you can also basically see it just here. You have your store, which may have your t-shirt um, with your logo on or um, a canvas or a print. Someone orders from your store and you follow the arrow the order gets sent automatically to the Printful factory. They create your product and then they send it direct to your customer in a box which is branded to say that it has come from you. And along the process, you don't do anything at all. The whole thing is automated. So Etsy takes the order, Etsy sends it to Printful, Printful send it to your customer. And the only interaction you have is to see the money arrive in your bank account and then see payment going out to Printful and you just keep the difference, which is your profit. So if we scroll back up to the top, the first thing you need to do is hit this button which says connect your shop. And this is where you will connect your Etsy shop to Printful so that the orders get sent over automatically. So now you put in your name, your email address and password. And you will arrive at Printful. You've now got an account with them. And as you arrive, this video here will play automatically. First, you'll set up how you're going to be selling your products. You can create a custom store to submit orders manually. You can connect to any of these popular e-commerce platforms directly or use our ship station. So basically you arrive on this page, watch the video and then explain it to you how it all works. However, I'm going to talk you through it now step by step. So step one is to connect your store. So you click on the create button just here. And this is the little symbol for Etsy. So you're going to click to connect an Etsy store. So just scroll down through these other options and here's Etsy, so click connect. And here is another helpful video from Printful which tells you all about how to get started with Etsy. So obviously watch that one. And then as we scroll down, there's a button which says connect to Etsy. So hit that one. 
So now log here into your Etsy account and as you scroll down it tells you the kind of access that Printful has. So obviously it needs to be able to see your listings and your orders um, and any sales and the shipping addresses of your customers. So then you hit allow access and you are going to connect to an existing Printful account. So in here put the email and password that you use to sign up with Printful. Hit sign in and then hit this button here to connect your stores. So now we're back at the Printful website and step two is to add a product. So let's click here for add product. And this is my dummy store that I've got set up here just for our example for working with Printful today. So I'm going to see where it says here, add products. So I'm going to click here to add a new product to my Etsy store. And rather than adding it to Etsy, I actually set it up within Printful itself. So I'm going to hit add. And up come some of the options for the items that Printful can make for you. In this case, we're going to create a, a print. So let's click on wall art. And then you have several different items here that you can pick. So there's a poster paper, luster paper, um, a matte framed poster, canvas if you want them, premium paper, etc. I'm going to print, uh, select this one. This is the matte paper framed poster. I'll hit there. And on this page, you create um, the design of your poster or your printed artwork. So the first thing to do is decide if you want it vertical or horizontal. And as you can see, the preview changes just here. So I'm going to select one which is horizontal. And here you select the, the sizes that you want your print to be available in. So I'm going to leave it at the moment for select all sizes and we'll see what happens. Our next step is to upload a file. So the digital file that you created uh, previously to sell your artwork, um, if you go through the same steps, you're now going to create a digital file to send to Printful so that they can print that poster for you. So let me go and upload a file. So I've picked a file from my computer and you can see the file being uploaded just here. So we wait until that gets to 100%. And here we can see the file that's now uploaded. So I just click choose. And now we get some mock-ups of what our image is going to look like once it's within the frame and printed. And that looks pretty good. So if you scroll down to the bottom here, this one is an 8 by 10. Now at this point, you have an option to move them about it. Just have it centered, but you can drag it. So say you liked this side of your painting better, then you can put that in the print or you can drag it all the way over to this side for a different look or you can use here where you can center them and it will just take the center of your image just there. So that's what it looks like in a, um, a horizontal layout. But of course, some of them are square. So if you have a 10 by 10, um, a 14 by 14, 12 by 12, then they're going to be square. And of course, you have the same option again if you like. You can drag your image around so that it looks slightly different in a square orientation or you can use these ones just to center it. Now as we look down through all of the options just here for the different sizes, you'll see this one here has a little exclamation mark by it. We strongly suggest a larger file for better results. So the number of pixels in my file they decide is insufficient in order to, good, to make a really good quality print at 24 by 36, in which case we don't want our customers to be disappointed. So we're going to remove that as an option. So I can take that off. Now we can also do that with any of these other ones. So say you only wanted to provide this one in square formats, then you would take out anything that was horizontal. Or if you only wanted it in horizontal formats, you can remove anything that is square. And um, that's just by hovering over and hitting the little X and it takes that option away. So I'm going to take out that larger one too, because I really want my customers to make sure that they're going to get a nice high quality image. So rather than stretch it too big, I'm just going to make the 18 by 18 and the 16 by 20 the maximum size that this print is going to come in. And you can see what that looks like. Of course, as you go larger, if you look here, the frame is wider in comparison to the print. When you go larger, 
then obviously the 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 um the frame looks smaller in relation to the print so these are actual mock-ups of what it will look like at true size so once you're happy with how the print looks and what sizes you have for your print then we're going to proceed to mock-ups and here you can see the um, the displays for your art that Printful will add into your Etsy store for you. So if you're happy with all of these, and I don't think you would probably want to restrict them, then you can just leave the checkbox for all of those and proceed to description. And now here you write your product title. So I've given mine a title. I've called it the name of the print said that it's a framed poster print available in multiple sizes. This part of the description is standard and written for you and it tells your potential buyer a little bit about um, what is included in the print. Obviously that it's framed, um, it's black frame, how thick, that it has a, a front protector, lightweight hardware included. So up at the top here you can write a description of the painting itself or whatever you want to put here. Uh, range of sizes available. Please pick from the drop down box. And you, you know, you'd put however much information you wanted in here. And then these tags are important because these are part of what people search for on, Et for on Etsy. So you might want to say art, print, oh, print, uh, abstract cells, you know, whatever else you want to put. You can have a maximum of 13 in there and then proceed to pricing and on this page you get to pick how much you want to sell your print for and it has all of the sizes down here the ones that you have picked and you can over type here the retail price so this tells you here you can hover over it doesn't include tax for example um, how much Printful is going to charge you for printing and framing your piece of art and then here the retail price is what you're going to charge your customer and over here will be the profit now bear in mind that this isn't net profit this will be the gross profit and from this you will need to also take off your Etsy fees and any payment processing fees such as um, PayPal for example and if you want to you can change any of those so if I wanted the 18 by 18 to be a little more I can just overtype that with $75, for example, and this one obviously gives greater profit. If you wanted to offer an affordable option, then maybe 25 in there, um, and that's just, you know, a little try me price, and you don't make much money, you just kind of cover your fees. So you can change all of these prices to make whatever profit you like. And then down at the bottom, submit to store. And now Printful is syncing your product into your Etsy store and up creating an item for you for sale, adding in all of the multiple sizes, adding in the title and the description and so on and the tags that you wrote. Now this green banner shows that the product has been added. So now we're going to click to edit in Etsy and we can go over and make any other changes we need to make. So if you're familiar with Etsy, you'll recognize the listings page and here you can see all of the mock-up images and you can drag them around if you wanted that one to be your featured image, for example, instead of that one. Oh, let's put them back again. There we go. And then you can scroll down and just check all of the other items here. You can see that they've already set it up as a digital print. Now at this point, there are a few optional extras if you want to include things like colors, for example, or occasions, you can put that in here. You can change it from manual to automatic listing if you want to. And again, you can change your description here if you want to change anything or add anything at this point. And now you need to add a new production partner just to let people know that you aren't actually printing this yourself. You're getting it done by a professional third party. So you click here and pick Printful. And you can fill in all of the information here. I like to put a little something about Printful. I put Printful creates professional prints and products from my art, packages them and sends them direct to my buyers. All items are printed or manufactured to order. And then you just have a few questions here and then you save your partner. Tick the box to say this item is created by Printful. And again, you have some tags just here. You can add any more of them in. Um, and as you scroll down through, you should see all of these um, items here 
depending on the size, have got a particular price. So if you want to, you, again, you can go in and edit the price here. If you want to change them, that's absolutely fine. Get down here and you have the, um, the print flows automatically set up a uh, postage charge for you in there so that you'll always be charging the right postage to your buyers. And then when you get down to the very bottom, you'll hit on the publish button click publish and then we can go and see it in our store so here's the item in our store and we can scroll through and see the various images for it and when your buyer wants to buy a print they can select the size from the drop down box and it tells them here how much it will be this one for example and then they can add it to your cart and it ships um, to them directly from Printful so you don't need to do anything because the because the Etsy system automatically sends the order to Printful. Printful print it, pack it, send it direct to your customer and they even mark it as shipped in your Etsy store so there really is absolutely nothing for you to do. Set it up once and hopefully sell many many prints of your art. So this is um, part two in our series. This is how to make a framed print of your art to send and over the course of the next few videos I'll show you how to create other products within Printful as well because of some of the other ones just to have a slightly different setup. So I hope you have enjoyed um, this video and future videos that I'm going to create about how to make money by selling your art through your Etsy store. Thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you on acrylicpouring.com very soon.